みよう All right, what's good, y'all? Yohan here with a brand new camera, looking better than ever. So uh, now you get to see how messy my, or not my room, but like the bonus room is. <laughs> but <laughs> what is up? Uh, I'm here to pull on this Halloween banner. Happy Halloween, y'all! It's even though it's still like three weeks away, four weeks away, but uh, we're getting in the mood regardless. So my goal here is to get my main goal. My number one goal is to get attack speed finish fodder for my young Mia. Um, but I also would like to get one copy of female corn to the side as well, just to use, cause I really like her art and I like her design in general. And I also want to pull, uh, try pulling for Duma as well for competitive usage. So I'll be sniping blue and red. We're going to go all the way to the spark. I should have enough orbs for that. So, um, we'll hope for the best, I guess. So here we go. Let's get right into it. All right. Decent start. <clears throat> if there's not, if there's... No blue or red, I'll probably go colorless until I get one copy of Naga. Alrighty. And if we end up somehow getting super lucky and getting two Corns and one Duma like really early, I'm gonna switch to the Flame Banner and just dump the rest on Lin. <laughs> she is at plus four right now, so um, I think she's in a good enough spot for me to save for her rerun. I should have enough by the time she comes back in the double special banner. So, yeah, that'll be that. <clears throat> but yeah, ended up... Oh, hello. Hello, very outdated units. Uh, F Morgan. But she has, like, some jo joint drive attack speed or something. I forgot what exactly. So not completely useless, but... I like Morgan, so... That's a W, I guess. Remember back when ploy skills were, like... Highly coveted? <laughs> <laughs> Res play est. Can't forget that. All right. Uh, we got Fe6 versions of Est. Fe6's version of Est. Even though she doesn't really join late. Not archetype wise, just youngest of the youngest of the trio. But yeah, uh, I was. Dude, why? I keep getting the same pity breakers. Uh, well, it's just not really pity breakers in this case, but. I keep getting the same pity breakers over and over again. This is like my fourth Catherine. Um, I've gotten like four Valentine Palas. I think I mentioned in the other video too. My gosh, I've gotten a bunch of Priams, Priams, however you pronounce it. I mean, she has decent fodder, so I'll take it, I guess. Alrighty. Uh, but yeah, summer refine, summer Lin's refine is here. I haven't talked about refines yet, so. Yeah, very happy. Very, very, very happy. She got, like, a lot more than I expected. Um, the only thing she, I guess she's missing is, like, some sort of pulse effect. But you can get that some uh, with some outer outside sources. So, yeah, she got slaying. Uh, no, oh, awful. Let's see if we can get a Naga. She got slaying, which was, like, the big thing I was, like, wasn't sure she was going to get or not. Uh, but she got no guard. She got... Uh, Self no follow up. She got a bunch of stats, and she got the sweep effect that works on dragons as well, which is huge. So, yeah, Duma just came out. And I think she'll do pretty well against him. Uh, so, looking forward to using her as a hard counter for him, because I'm pretty sure he's going to be quite relevant in the meta, uh, at least for SD, uh, and he'll definitely AR as well. So, yeah. I do have, I did former her, so she has the literal cookie cutter build. She has catch menace and speed defense trace with dead eye. So not very creative, but I mean, it's, it's, it is what it is. <laughs> um, I ran some calcs. Uh, she does, I have a plus two lin and like, as long as she has a, a single pulse for her dead eye, uh, she annihilates completely max invested Canigus. Uh, like summoner supported, ally supported, plus 10, everything. So that was really nice to see. Um, we'll have to see how well she does against Duma. I'm pretty sure she'll do fairly well. So, not too worried. It'll really depend on if that Duma is having... So the thing about Duma is... Uh, since he has the anti-special charge thingamajig... And also first hit damage reduction on his C skill... You kind of don't want to use Hardy Fighter for the first hit. 
you'd rather have it for the second hit, right? So I'm thinking uh, Roncorn. I'm thinking it might be better to run Hardy Fighter 2 on him with Sacred Cal. So you only get a minus one special cooldown. So that means you're preventing the Dead Eye and Lethality on the first hit. And then the second hit, then you have the uh, Sacred Cal ready. So I think that might be the way to go. I think it makes you... You're giving up... Um, it was Dragon Wall, right? You're giving up um, DR against AoEs. But maybe his... Um, Rez is good enough to maybe uh, survive still. Definitely not Duo Thor, probably not, but maybe Sonya because she's green. But yeah, oh, hello. <laughs> Alrighty. Just another day of getting a bunch of red pity breakers. But I like the Scythia, so this is perfectly fine. And yeah, um,. No follow-up seal is pretty decent for her, actually. Even though it seems redundant, it's actually pretty nice. But yeah. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with Summer Lin. I think the rest are kind of just okay for the most part at best. Um, I like that Leth is pretty good now. Uh, Leth was my second most uh, favorite in the batch. Well, not favorite, but like one I was looking forward to in the batch because I really like Leth. And now I'm probably going to use her for a... Gale Force comp of some sort. Um, at least for now, I'm gonna use Leth and Liar. I'm gonna make a new Gale Force comp with Leth and Liar, just for like flavor. And because Liar hasn't, I plus tender, but I haven't really been using her much. So, yes, let's go. We pull Duma. Oh yeah, let's go. There is Duma. Incredible art. Incredible concept. Plus HP minus res. I'll probably uh, I'll probably just fruit him. So, I saw I saw their dual conversation. It was super wholesome. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. Now we can just snipe, snipe blues from here on out. Alrighty. We might have to clear my barracks soon. But yeah. Um. Uh. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, left right. I was gonna do a left and liar gale force company AR. Until New Year's Last Getters gets her refined in like probably half a year-ish, I want to say. Uh, see what that goes. And then uh, if it ends up being... Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Um, let's see if we can get Naga. Um, we'll see what New Year's Last gets. And then I'll pair up both the New Year cats together. And then switch OG Let's build to like a super nuking the Dragon Bang build that... PM1 posted. I was pretty interested in doing that because I have some Surge Sparrow, Surge Sparrow fodder as well. Why do I keep pulling red <laughs> or other colors? I need to stop. I need to pay attention. Alrighty. But yeah, um, pretty pretty dope. Uh, Leth is pretty solid. I'm I'm really glad she got the no follow up. That's like the most important part. The true damage is whatever, but uh, no follow up is the most important. And the special fighter is nice. Alrighty. And, um, who else? Fallen Tiki, I think, got a lot more hate than she deserved. I personally think Delthea is the most underwhelming refine of the batch. Because, um, she's basically Halloween Noe, but doesn't have the support factor. So I, I want to say she's not as, she's even worse than that, than her, um, She's going to have slightly more firepower for sure, but regardless, that's still not going to be enough. Oops. To, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> um, she still doesn't have enough firepower to like take down a lot of the common tanks. So I don't think she's good. I think she has the weakest refinement personally. Uh, unless you're running, it's the erosion meta. Then she can be pretty decent, I think, but. Still, she struggles to kill a lot of like far, the typical far save units and stuff. So, I don't really see her being too great. Um, fun though, fun unit, but not too great uh, meta wise. Um, Fallen Tiki is de not definitely not meta defining or anything like that. But I think like just having stats is pretty nice. 
she definitely falls short in comparison to Kanigus <laughs> in basically all aspects. So, oh, hello, that's my first. Is that my first Spirina? It is my first Spirina. Yo, I'm happy about that. I'm actually really happy about that. Let's go. Let's go. She has a tech speed catch. She was the first one with it, I want to say. Or is it? Or is it Claude? I don't remember. And she has tech defense ring. Yeah, really good fodder. I don't know if I'll fodder her or just keep her. I don't have any flying flowers anymore now that I think about it. Because I dumped it all on Summerlin. Uh, good IVs though. We'll see what I do with her. Yeah, that's fine. I, I like getting uh, new units that I wanted, but never ended up pulling. So, very welcome indeed. Very welcome. It's going to be a shame though. If I end up having to spark Corrin, she's going to just die immediately. <laughs> kind of sad, but... Gotta do it for me, alright? I did end up pulling a male Shez, so I'm not gonna have to finish Bulwark combo on him. On her. Oof. That's a lot of healing, let me tell you. <laughs> That's a lot, a lot of healing. And unfortunately, she's still gonna die to a Deadeye Lethality. Um, and I'm not gonna be able to give her Godlike Reflexes anytime soon, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, she's gonna have that weakness, but. I really am excited to try her out in Summer Bulls. Uh, back to our finds. There's Yarn. Uh, Yarn's was kind of eh, I want to say. Oh, we're getting a lot of the Pegasus sisters. <laughs> but yeah, I don't even remember. He got like 10%. He got the Candy Dagger true damage. That's pretty... Really not enough in my opinion, but... What else? He didn't even get no follow-up. He got a guaranteed follow-up. A bunch of stats. Yeah, it wasn't great, honestly. Uh, granted, he like he's a solid unit. He was solid before even the refine. Uh, he had his own unique role, but yeah, uh, not the best refine, unfortunately. And was that it? Left. I think that's basically it. So yeah, uh, pretty mid batch overall, but Summerlin got a, uh, the good end of the stick, so I'm happy. <laughs> Uh, I guess that means... Who's the next refine? Uh, let's get, try to get a Naga. Who's the next seasonal refine? Uh, so, Summer 2. It's not Duo Hector, is it? I don't think it is. Maybe it is. Alright, no Naga. Alright, five more pulls. Oof, yeah, so... I did want to, I am planning on doing, like, I don't know if I'll have the time for it soon, uh, anytime soon, but I want to actually grind up my favor again. I haven't done, <laughs> I haven't grinded up my favor in so long. I'm probably going to do OG Mia because she's already the highest right now, but I have the rearm weapon on her now, so she should be performing at least solidly. Or, like, not terribly compared to before. And that new, uh, that new captain skill actually really helps my play style. <laughs> Uh, so, that'll be nice. So I can give DC to, like, Lin, Young Mia, and OG Mia. Excuse me. Without wasting a slot for it. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. Alrighty. Okay, this will be the last circle. Can we get a clutch pull? Oh, three blues. Not going to get my hopes up too much, though. But nonetheless, this was a... Oh, I forgot to put Duo. I forgot to put... I replaced Duma's. Uh, put Varina's here. My bad, guys. I replaced Duma with Varina. Alright, there we go. Yeah, this was a really good session, though. Regardless. So we got two... We got a four-star special that of a character that I like, at least. And we got two good... Uh, or three good fodder units off pull. So I'm not sure if I'll fodder fair, you know. Maybe I will. Alright, that's gonna be it, guys. Well, do I shoot for a random Naga at the end? Why not? Let's go for a random Naga. <laughs> Let's replenish those uh, flyer flowers. <laughs> nope, never mind. It's best FE7 girl instead. Resplendent went. All right, let's spark the fodder. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad, man. I want a copy of her. 
but it is what it is. It's not like I would use her anywhere in particular other than Arena Assault or something. Oh, that art is so good. It's gonna hurt so much bothering her. Yikes. Maybe I'll get lucky with some of the orbs I get uh, in the meantime. I mean, there's 30 ben, 30 days, and I still have my pity rate. Like 3.75, yeah. I might keep going on it a little bit off screen, so. All right, y'all, that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you dig the new camera. I still need a new micro microphone, though, but uh, maybe I should move my table so you don't have to see all this junk behind me at some point. But nonetheless, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you next time, whenever that may be. Uh, hope you had a good session if you haven't pulled, a, uh, if you already pulled, or if you're going to pull, hope you have a good session there. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Have a good day. Peace out.